In this video, you will learn how to establish a connection between MATLAB and Mechanical APDL. There are five main steps we will cover. Download and install the ANSYS AAS MATLAB toolbox. Launch Mechanical APDL in AAS mode. Initialize ORB in the ANSYS AAS toolbox in MATLAB. Initiate the connection from MATLAB to Mechanical APDL and then we will verify the connection. For this example, we will assume that MATLAB is already installed. The first step is to download and install the ANSYS AAS MATLAB toolbox. You should only have to complete this once on the computer running MATLAB. This file can be downloaded from the ANSYS customer portal. Once logged in, simply search for MATLAB AAS which will bring you to solution number 2042389. In the solution, you will see a link for the MATLAB toolbox file. Download this file and take note of the folder you download or save the file to. Now launch MATLAB and we will install the toolbox by browsing to the downloaded folder location Right click on the toolbox file and choose install. I will then minimize MATLAB. The second step is to launch mechanical APDL in AAS mode. In the APDL launcher, first specify your working directory. For this example, my working directory is C working folder. Then in the customization preferences tab, add an additional parameter dash AAS. Hit run and APDL will launch with some additional MAPDL RPC lines in the output window. I will minimize the launcher and move the output window to the side. One thing to note is that in our working directory, a key file AAS underscore MAPDL ID dot TXT is created. The third step is to initialize the ORB in the ANSYS AAS toolbox in MATLAB. In MATLAB, first issue the command ORB equals initialize underscore ORB. Then issue the command load underscore ANSYS underscore AAS. These two commands should only need to be executed once per MATLAB session. The fourth step will initiate the connection from MATLAB to our current APDL session. First, change our MATLAB directory to be in our working folder. Then issue the command ICO MAPDL unit equal to ACT MAPDL server ORB and then the name of our key file specified earlier. If you are not in your current working folder, you will need to enter the full path to your key file here. Now we will confirm the connection is working by issuing a simple APDL command such as setting a parameter. We will issue the command AAS underscore parameter underscore test equals 22, which will set this APDL parameter name equal to a value of 22. You will see that the reply back from APDL echoes the parameter name and the value. Another example shows how we can create a node in APDL from MATLAB. We will first switch to prep7 using the command ICO MAPDL unit execute command to string and then the APDL command slash prep7. We will then create a node using the command execute command to string n the node number and then the coordinates of the node. When we hit return we receive feedback from APDL that node number 100 was created at the location we specified. This concludes the demonstration of setting up the connection between MATLAB and APDL.